हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू नेपाल ऑनलाइन स्कूल स्टूडियो वी हैव बीन फोकसिंग ऑन द लाइफ एंड द पर्पस ऑफ द ब्राइट स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ नेपाल एंड ऑलवेज ट्राई टू कैटर देयर नीड्स सेंसिंग व्हाट प्रॉब्लम्स दे फेस वन इशू विच कम अप विद द स्टूडेंट एज समाइम्स दे डोंट हैव एम्पल स्ट्रेंथ और इंटरेस्ट टू परसू देयर स्टडीज समाइम्स इवन इफ दे ट्राई टू डिस इनगेज दमसेल्व फ्रॉम द अननेसेसरी ऑब्जेक्ट्स और द पर्पज ऑफ लाइफ बट बिकॉज ऑफ सम old pattern or the habits they are unable to get read of such ill things out of their life so to eradicate or to get read of such reeling issues which used to drag us from the progressive path of life there is one solution and that solution is called as the pranayam as the nepal online school is not only engaged in the academic learning it also always strive hard to impart the student the right education around the mental and the spiritual abilities so in this part of yoga and spirituality from the nepal online school we are going to focus on the pranayam we all are aware that the pran or the pattern of breath is highly decisive to to know few things about ourselves a person operating from the state of peace will surely work differently than the person who operate from the anxiety or restlessness so the yogis or our ancestors they were far more intelligent than all the modern facilities available to to enhance the human life and they study very deeply what these two nostrils are what are these centers around the forehead and the navel center and all the possible complexities of the body and come up with the different techniques of pranayam so the student not only feel the disinterest towards the study they also feel difficult to focus because of the garbage storing or the garbage so much of that in our head that it doesn't lets us work in the right direction so to understand these things we will get into the process of the breath one very simple breath pattern where we all know that there is a breathing style called as kapalabhati it is highly beneficial for the person who who feel very difficulty in focusing because most of the impressions which actually disturbs our rhythm lies just around the forehead or the impression which had been captured just over the few days or maybe some months so to eradicate them we can use one simple technique where we are just supposed to exhale and contract abdominal muscles simultaneously like this you can see to do this you just need to be comfortable and don't be much formal around these practices you can do it anywhere and everywhere so what to do so 
So just the forceful exhalation means more or enhanced awareness around the exhalation is called as Kapalabhati. The moment you hit the navel center or you take the navel center inward with the contraction and throw the air out through the nostrils, you just let the navel center getting connected with the area which controls your body or the mind or your psyche. So with this connection, you can eradicate the temporal impressions and immediately you will feel some sort of happiness settling inside. And the moment you are happy, you could be ready to understand what is right and what is wrong for you. Sometimes we, not sometimes, we are always aware that what is right for us, but then sometimes we just lose ourselves or majority of the times some people lose themselves because of the impressions coming on the surface and just force them to to move all the senses towards acting on those impressions which creates disturbance in our life so little bit of right attitude is required to to engage ourselves into these process of breathing this will benefit you extremely to build your life the way you wish and we all wish highly productive life so why not to engage ourselves or have some time separate for these breathing practice and it will surely impress you and by force it will drag you back on the right track of the life and this will not only let you attain the focus it will also give you better health so this was one thing now there are few more things This first practice will just let you enter into this dimension. But the journey will go much, much far from what you are just seeing. Now, slowly, slowly, once you getting into this, you will have the interest that why not to understand our body fully in the perspective of the prana we all know that the exercise used to gives us health but then there are few more things ahead of the exercise there are different sheaths of the body with which we live one is the body which is made up of food then the bread then there is our thinking so and then is if the correction in thinking is coming then the intelligence will creep in and with the right intelligence you will surely build the good life and then the bliss or the ecstasy of the life will start flowing inside you so <clears throat> so after understanding the kapalabhati where you just have to do the forceful exhalation now we will settle into the pranayam called as Nadi Shodhan. Because we need to understand where are those impressions settled in the body. They are scattered all over the body. So you need to remove them not only from the frontal part of the brain but from the whole of the nervous system. And for that there is a breathing pattern called as Nadi Shodhan where with the two fingers you need to press the area around the eyebrow center and then using the thumb or the ring finger or any combination of finger you need to do the inhalation and exhalation with the alternate nostril. Now this pressure the moment you touch over here 
this location is connected with the whole of the nerves lying around the body and slowly slowly these pressure will start injecting force the vital force or the life into the nerves and then the behavior of these nerves will change now this cleansing it seems that the inner body is clean but actually those impressions with which we live or our thinking it affects these nervous system so the nadi shodhan practice will help us to rebuild this whole structure so the process after the kapalbhati the second pranayam nadi shodhan eyebrow center pressed and then closing the right nostril with thumb inhalation with left closing left exhalation with right inhalation with right closing right exhalation with left and its repetition how many times at least 5 10 minutes maximum 15 minutes not more than that then the changes will start coming into you your behavior will change your view to see the life will change and then you will start seeking yourself more meaning towards the life how it will happen just with the process of cleansing you will start seeing yourself in your right perspective or you will get yourself established into your true nature the purpose for which you came to this planet every human life is having infinite possibilities and they came for some purpose but because of few things we just lose the track of our life and we get lost just in the pleasure it is not being said that you deny the pleasure but then of course there must be certain limit and the history has given us numerous facts that the sacrifices leads us to the successes in life so after the nadi shodhan what will happen the force will occupy the nervous channel and the heat also then we need to balance it and to balance it there is a breath pattern called as the alternate nostril breathing or the anulom vilom so with these practices of breathing you will start sensing the changes coming into your life the focus the retention or the improvement in the memory the performance in the life the interest in the life the family life will improve your behavior in the friend circle will improve your character will change you will take new birth out of this practice of pranayam this video is just let you get into the process of it and then slowly slowly we will get into the details where we will just have the separate practices the anulom vilom nadi shodhan kapal bhati and then there are more practices which gives us more physical strength more mental strength we'll get into all details of these pranayam practice you keep watching and have an eye on us we will get into your life to let you see yourself in the highest possibilities to knock life thank you so much we'll end over here Thank you.